Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about HTML5 geolocation, how to get latitude and longitude from this geolocation API. HTML5 geolocation is a browser-based API, which basically lets us to get user location in the form of coordinates, which are latitude and longitude. Here is the chart that shows which browser and its version supports this geolocation API. One thing worth pointing out here is Google Chrome version 50 or above is only enabling this API when using HTTPS connection. However, it works fine in localhost, which is exactly where I'll be testing this. Let's see how to add a click event handler to the locator button. All I have to do here is add a click event handler called locator button pressed in the locator icon, which is an I element. In view, you would create all the event handlers callback functions inside method object, which is the standard best practice. Let's go and do that in action. Open up user location dot view component after the end quote, hit space and at sign, click equal opening and closing quotes. I'm going to call it locator button pressed. Now declare this callback function inside methods object. To do that, create script element in between template and style elements like so. Inside that, type export default opening and closing curly braces. This is where all of the JavaScript code would go into. Let's create a methods object here. Inside that, declare locator button pressed function. The first thing I want to do inside the function is to check if the geolocation API is supported by the user's browser using navigator.geolocation object so that we can tell a user that your browser is not supported. So please enter your address manually using the autocomplete API, which I will cover later in this chapter. Let's do that next. Inside the locator button pressed callback function, if navigator dot geolocation is set all good else I'm going to console log your browser does not support geolocation API and semicolon at the end. I will cover how to handle all errors including this one in a separate lesson again later in this chapter. Moving on, to get the geographical position, all you have to do is to call get current position method. This takes three arguments. The first one is the success function and the second one is the error function and the third one is, a, is an options object. The way it works is when a get current position is called, a browser notification window will appear close to the URL bar on the browser and as the user, in my case, localhost wants to know your location. If allow button is pressed, the get current position method will return the coordinate object to the success function specified in the parameter called position. On the other hand, when the block button is pressed, error function will be invoked and return object specified in the error parameter. Inside the if block, invoke get current position method and semicolon. In between the parentheses, declare the first argument, which is success error function with a parameter 
position in which we can get latitude and longitude coordinates. I'm going to console log them. Console dot log, opening and closing parentheses, position dot chords dot latitude and console dot log opening and closing parenthesis position dot chords dot longitude let's declare the second argument which is error function console dot log opening and closing parenthesis error dot message save the file and switch back to the browser open up the developer console if you haven't already by right clicking the browser and select inspect I'm going to click the locator button the notification window pops up choose allow and you can see the latitude and longitude coordinates printed in the console let's see if the error message works as expected by blocking the location I'm going to click the locator button again but this time the notification does not show up why this is because I have already gave permission to the browser to get my location to reset it in Chrome click on the I icon which is before the address bar change the location option from allow to ask and reload the page let's try it again this time I'm going to choose block option and you can see the error message appear in the developer console the next step is to convert these coordinates to an actual human readable mailing address using Google's geocoding API which is exactly I'm going to cover in the next lesson I'll see you there Hey, if you want to know more about Google Maps API and how you can use it to enhance location-based services in your JavaScript or Vue.js app, check out my course link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.